We've just finished the major part of the rhinoplasty and we're putting some very meticulous small sutures in the little open rhinoplasty incision. One of the most important aspects of the rhinoplasty that the patient will notice is the little scar that's in between the columella um, from an open rhinoplasty. And as you can see here right now, I'm placing very small little sutures or stitches to make that incision as perfect as possible. Some of these sutures will be removed in one week. Some of the other sutures I'm placing will stay in there and dissolve on their own. In a few weeks, this incision area should look fantastic. It may get a little red for the first few weeks, but after three or four months, this scar should be nearly imperceptible. The difference between the open and closed rhinoplasty is the closed rhinoplasty has only incisions inside the nose. The open rhinoplasty, which we've performed here, has this incision right across the columella, which is the partition of skin that divides the left and the right nostril. And the open rhinoplasty can cause a little bit more swelling as you're healing. One of the things we have to be careful about is that the edges of this wound that I'm closing fits absolutely perfect together so that you will not see a scar. Following surgery, after the stitches are removed, I'll start the patient on scar gel. And I usually start this about two weeks after surgery. Scar gel is a little silicone-based product which helps decrease any scar formation. In addition, we can treat the scar with the pulse dye laser, which is an in-the-office procedure, which will help decrease some of the redness uh, of the scar. Well, we've just finished the formal rhinoplasty and closed our incisions. The nose looks fantastic. And now we have to just finish up with making the nostrils smaller. When we went in for Erica's surgery, we had a numerous procedures we had to do. So we just finished seeing Erica at six weeks following her rhinoplasty surgery. As you can tell by looking at the before and after photos, her nose looks a lot better and she still has a lot more healing to go. So I'm very happy for her right now.